If you have one of these Chamberlain garage door openers and you need to program the upper and lower limit switch, then this is the video for you. Whether you're installing a brand new one like I am, or maybe you lost power for a few days, or maybe your garage door just happened to lose its memory. We're going to go ahead and get it reset and get that garage door opener working properly again. Now the side you're going to need access to is this right here. If you locate your antenna, it's going to be on that side. So you just pull down on your cover and then you'll see your upper and lower limit switch settings. Now to do the programming, I like to start with the garage door maybe about half open. If yours is all the way up or down, it doesn't really matter. That's just where I like to start. So you're gonna come over here, you're gonna hold in this center button. It's going to beep and then one of the arrows is going to start to flash. So I held it in, you hear the beep, and now my up arrow is flashing. So that means we're gonna set the upper limit. So you're just gonna hold this in. As you can see the garage door is coming up. And whenever you let off the button, it's gonna stop. But that doesn't mean it's programmed. So I need to come up just a little bit more. About right there is fully open. So that's where I want to keep it. And now I'm going to hit the center button. So now my upper is set. So now we need to set the lower. And now you'll see that the down arrow is flashing. So we're going to go ahead and set the down. I'm going to hold it in. Once it gets about a foot off the ground, I'm going to let go because I'm just going to bump the button. See, I'm about a foot off the ground. I'm just going to slowly kind of push this a little bit, kind of let it come down. You just want to make sure that you're not putting too much pressure on the door. So now it's closed, but I don't really have any pressure. I just kind of want to look up here and now I have a little pressure on the door and that's where I want to Go ahead and set it. So then go ahead and push the center button. And now it's all set. Now it's gonna beep and flash. It's basically warning you that it's going to run through a cycle. So now it's gonna open all by itself. And it should stop right where I told it to. And now it's gonna automatically go down. So once you have taught this properly, it's gonna do one full cycle of open and close. And now you have everything set and there shouldn't be any lights on your opener. Now that everything is set correctly, it's done its automatic cycle. If you just wanna test it out, all you gotta do is hit one of the buttons. Whether your door is open or closed is gonna make a difference. Mine's closed. So I'm just going to hit the up arrow, hit it one time, and it's going to come all the way up to the limit switch that I set. If you want to manually close it, hit the down button, and it's going to go right down to the limit switch I just set. That's all there is to it to setting your upper and lower limit switch. The directions are a little bit fuzzy, but hopefully this video helps you out. Thanks for watching.